What's that material? That's it's plaster and grog. It's from the lost. It's from the lost wax process. It's, oh, it's okay. simply to give a barrier between the bottom of the crucible oh, okay. and the bricks there, so it doesn't stick. The aluminium we use is, uh, said, is uh, from the scrapyard. The, the gun metal, the bronze, which is a rather lovely metal. That is, uh, again, from the scrapyard. And um, it's bits of old castings. This originally, you can even feel the texture of the sand in there, um, would have originally been produced in a sand mould. Um, because one of the processes that, of course, we haven't dealt with is how you core a mould in order to give yourself that kind of an object which has a hollow to it, through which, you know, in this case, water passes. We'll cover that on the next one. <laughs> Do a quick um, temperature check. Okay, we're just going to scrape the dross off. Don't, don't worry about it. Lovely. Try? Now, we can probably... Oh, there you go. Beautiful. So they've come out pretty good. There's no shrinkage there. If there is any shrinkage, you'll probably be on the other side as it happens.
Okay. Check and put it in some water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. okay. The majority of the majority of uh, uh, of castings that occur will require extra work. I mean, for instance, if that, which is just a piece of wood, uh, from which we've taken a casting, um, I could take that down to the sandblaster. I could get rid of some of the texture that has been created through the sand casting process, and I could polish that and, and bring it really bring it up to a very high degree of polish. Thank you. Thank you very much.